Hey everybody, um, it's a little late, um, but I wanted to make sure I got this out today. So, um, the final chapter of Black Colossus by Robert E. Howard in our Conan Chronology series. Okay, so, when we left before, oh look at my um, alfalfa hair, um, when I left before, when I left... Um, last time, um, we left Conan and all of the, um, army of Kajura. I, I don't know why I do this every time we start the video. It'll come to me. Karaja. Jesus, every time. The whole Karaja army is, um, ready to go. So, they march... And they get to this plateau that um, goes into this like ravine kind of thing, and then out into the desert. And up here on the plateau, there's like a lake, so um, like everyone could have water and all that stuff. So Conan's like, "Yeah, we're gonna camp here and all this other stuff." And um, the fancy pants head of the vanguard. Um, comes up and he's like, no, we will meet them down in the desert. Um, they're all down there and we'll, we'll meet them there. And, and like when they look down there, they're outnumbered by like a gajillion. So think of the movie 300. If you've seen that, that's kind of what this is like. Um, it actually gets more like it the farther we go on this. But anyway, so <clears throat> Conan's like, no, I'm going to stay here and we're going to stay here. And he's like, blast. And, um, he's watching and there's this like cloud cover coming in down low and, um, one of Conan's dudes comes up and he's like, yeah, that fog is really weird. It's like kind of covering up like where, you know, they're going to be and stuff like that. And he's like, uh, yeah, it's a little weird. And then they talk a little bit about, um, not talk, um, that maybe he's supernatural and everything like that. And Conan's like, I don't care. And, um, so on and so forth. So like on the cliff sides, he has bowmen and spearmen and all this other stuff. And, um, the Vanguard dude comes up and he's like, we must go now. There's, um, the fog is covering, it'll cause distraction, blah, 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 blah. And Conan's like, no, it's a trap. And, um, <clears throat> he's like, oh, up yours, tall dude, which he doesn't say. And he's like, I'm going to go down there anyway. So he takes his guys and, um, which is like a fraction of the army Conan has anyway. So he goes and takes off down towards the fog, and um, Yasmela comes out, or she sends someone out. She's like, why aren't you with him? Like, what's going on? And he's like, um, I'm not going with him because I am not a fool like him. And um, so whatever. And then as they're going down there, this, like, chariot come storming in front of um, Natok's uh, army. And it looks like a giant black camel um, with some crazed demon, like, um, running the chariot. And Natok on the back. And he, like, opens this thing, and there's this gold that comes out right in front of his um, troops. And Conan is like, ah, like, I know what's going to happen. And then all of a sudden, um, when the Vanguard goes through it, like, it just, like, explodes. And it's just, like, mass carnage. And then the fog clears because um, Conan didn't fall for it, and it was all magic anyway. And this big wedge of these armies come running through the valley up the pass and Conan's like, come on, you 
jerks, let's go fight. And so they all like go and there's like this big fight. And because there's so many of those dudes, like they're going to end up being slaughtered. Conan's like, we're totally fucked here. What are we going to do? And so he grabs this dude. He's like, hey, is there another way around this pass to get down to where they are? And um, this guy's like, yeah, it's really steep, but yeah. And so he goes to his buddy and he's like, take all your men, go around the back and just try to break up the formation. Um, and we'll get him from the back. So all this is going on. Um, it's mass carnage, great action sequences. Um, and while... All this is going on, and Elmeric's men come up the back and break everything up. It kind of fucks up um, Natok's spell. And a lot of his army starts, like, like going, what, What's going on? What are, oh, my God! Oh, no! And they just start retreating in all different directions because it's tribes from all different places. And um, so... Natok's pissed off about this, so in his giant camel chariot, um, goes storming up the pass because all the troops are gone and no one's guarding Yasmela now. He grabs Yasmela and comes back down, and Conan's like, oh, I'm gonna get him. So he's just standing there, you know, and he's like, yeah, I'm ready, I'm ready. And, um, demonic camel and chariot is stronger than Conan and Conan goes flying um and then he gets up and sees them like going off in the distance she's screaming and Conan sees a horse going by without a rider on it and he just grabs the horse and jumps on it without the horse breaking stride and he follows this dude um out all the way back to the ruins of where this whole thing started. Um, Kushimini's? I, I blew it. Um, so he takes her back there. And he's just going to kill her. Um, he's... He's mad. Um, Natok... Well, obviously we find out that Natok is really... Um, Thruga Koltan... Um, and which is basically not talk backwards, um, not the Thugra part that's left off. So that's the big, <gasps> like, how did we not know? And, um, like in every good Conan story, um, Thugra Kotan picks up this, like, or, a, it just appears in his hand this giant black scorpion that'll, like, kill you if it stings you or whatever. And, um, Conan's like, shit, how am I gonna get close to him if he's got that thing? And so, what does Conan do in all of his stories? He just throws his sword at him and it pierces him through the heart. Um, and the guy falls down and squashes the scorpion. And, um, Conan grabs Yasmela and he's like, come on, we got to go! And she's like, no, because out there I belong to everybody, but right here I belong to you. And he's like, what are you talking about? I got 50,000 men waiting for me. And she's like, no, take me. And he's like, okay. And that's how the story ends. What, did you like my rendition? I'm really good with my love scenes, obviously. Um, but that's really how the story ends. It ends in their embrace. Um, yeah, so that's the craziness of Robert E. Howard's Black Colossus from Chapter 1 to Chapter 4. What'd you think? Did you like it? Have you read it yet? If you haven't, go to weirdmass.com and read it. Um, and that's it. So, we will see you later. Bye bye